Welcome back to Mastering MMA. Today we're going to talk a little bit about diet. So I actually get a lot of people ask me about that, um, you know, over the years. Um, and my my answer varies a lot depending on what somebody's looking to do. Um, and there's never a never a like a one size fits all answer. Um, and I, I've never never even given somebody a, a answer where it's do this um, so when I talk to people out about diet if it's cutting weight now I'm not talking about losing weight here I'm talking about cutting weight then you know I kind of got him in one direction if it's losing weight then I kind of got him in another direction. If it's if it's gaining mass, it's another direction. But the thing is, is is I honestly don't believe there's a one size fits all when it comes to dieting. So, you know, there's there's always whatever fad diet is going on at the time, um, and they come and go, and a lot of times they come back and go and come back, um, you know, with minor tweaks to them, but but they're very similar. To what was out in style, you know, five years ago, ten years ago, whatever. But the thing I always recommend to everybody is is try different stuff out, right? Figure out what works for you. Um, so right now, like, I'm not I'm not training. I'm not, you know, nothing's going on for me right now. And honestly, I, I've put on a couple pounds. We've added some some fat here. Um, and I know a lot of people have has since uh, since all this COVID stuff happened and gyms closed down and you know things of that nature. Um, but uh, my diet, I really didn't change it too much, and so that's that's why I put on weight, right? Because I was I'm still pretty much eating the same as I was when I was working out, but I haven't been working out near as much. I mean, you know, I, I get it in here and there. Um, I've been super busy with everything going on. So I'm going to be coaching again since we're going to be doing physical classes at the gym now. So I'll be moving again and getting some workouts in again. And uh, hopefully, depending on once I get everything up and running and, and it's somewhat smooth, um, hopefully I can get into some of the fitness and strength and conditioning classes and, and get that in too so I can get back in decent shape. But the thing of it is, is in general my advice for dieting is, is you need to try out different things and see what works for you. Um, diet A might do wonders for person A. For person B, it might not do anything. And for person C, it might help a little bit, right? So you, you never really know. And it can be the exact same diet, right? People, people are made different, right? Nobody's nobody's the same. So you got to kind of kind of play with it and tweak it. And I always like to make minor changes. Um, in general, my normal everyday diet, um, during the week, I pretty much eat almost the same thing for lunch every day. Um, it's very boring. It does get old sometimes, and occasionally I'll throw something in there. But uh, but in general, I'm eating pretty close to the same thing every day for lunch. Um, dinner, Jen cooks a lot, so, so I eat, I eat whatever she's cooking a lot of times. Um, not all the time, but most of the time I do. Um, you know, I get through spells where I'm like, whoa, all right, the scales are getting a little bit too heavy, and, you know, I'll crack down on my diet a little bit, bring me back down to where I'm comfortable. But uh, but in general, during the week, my lunches are planned out. Um, I kind of eat whatever she she's cooked unless I'm working or doing something and, you know, don't make it in for dinner. Then a lot of times I'll just have something small. When I, whenever I finally make it in the house, but uh, but yeah, I, I don't. I'm not on a real strict diet. That being said, in general, I eat healthy, right? Um, so I eat a lot of fruit. I eat a lot of nuts. Um, I don't take in a, a whole lot of carbs, right? I, I don't eat a whole lot of bread, um, stuff like that. You know, some pasta here and there, but but it's not an everyday thing. I don't eat a whole lot of fast food. Um, I mostly drink water. Um, 
you know, not a lot of sodas, things of that nature, right? There's a lot of little things you can do. So if you are looking to lose weight, start looking at stuff you can cut out or cut back, right? And don't do it all at once. Make small progressions, right? Do, do one thing every, every week. Reduce or eliminate one thing. Um, that's, that's unhealthy, right? And if you're hungry, replace it with something healthy. Right? If you're stopping every day to get a Snickers bar and and you feel like, like you need that Snickers bar, stop and get an apple. Right? Um, stop and get an orange. Uh, you know, it, so, something something that's a that's a healthier option. Right? And if if you do those little things, you're not gonna notice right away. Um, it's also not gonna make you miserable, right? If if you're cutting out, say you stop every day and get a candy bar and a soda, right? If change that for, you know, the first week you cut out the candy bar. You still hit the soda, but instead of the candy bar, you're going to eat an apple, right? That's going to add up. That's going to make a difference. Um, you know, that's that's some healthier stuff you're putting in your body. And so over time, and then, you know, say maybe the next week you you cut back and it's it's every other day you're going to get a, a soda, but the next day you're going to get a water, right? Or, you know, things of that nature. You can slowly taper off there as you're getting more physically active, and it will honestly make a big difference in the long run. Um, it's not it's not going to jump off of you right away. You know, it's not going to fall off. Um, losing weight is is it's not a big big mystery, right? We're just looking for the magic pill and this and that and other. But honestly, it's it's eat healthy and work out. It's kind of what it comes down to. Um, same thing with with gaining mass, muscle mass, right? It's a different kind of eating healthy, but you still want to eat healthy. Um, and then working out, right? So, so you're, you're still eating healthy, you're working out, but you're piling in the carbs, right? Which is the opposite of what you're doing if, if you're losing weight. But, um, and if you're cutting weight, then that's a whole different monster, right? We are, when I'm cutting weight, I'm slowly tapering off to the point where when it comes down to like water weight, cutting time like I'm barely eating anything at that point um, I'm just keeping it enough to keep me going um, and a lot of times near the end there to uh, to make sure I'm getting my nutrients I'm eating stuff that's made for babies or old people because that stuff is is does wonders when you're barely eating anything um, that's specifically what it's made for is to get those extra nutrients in it. so that helps me out a lot but uh, I just want to touch on that like just because you tried a diet and it's it didn't work for you doesn't mean like give up, right? Try a different diet, um, you know, or moderation. Like in general, that's how I eat is in moderation. I try to eat healthy most of the time. I eat unhealthy stuff, right? I'll, I'll stop and grab a bag of M and M's. I'll get a soda here and there, um, you know, things things of that nature, right? You know, I'll eat pizza for dinner, um, but I try not to overeat. Right, especially if I'm eating something unhealthy. Right, I try not to eat a whole pizza. You know, I'll try to eat like two slices and then, then maybe add a salad on the side or something if I'm really hungry. Um, and that's not saying there aren't days where I'm just going to devour a pizza because it happens from time to time. But you know, if, if I'm trying to if I'm trying to lose weight, that, that's the things that's the things I'm doing. Right, I'm, I'm trying to keep everything in moderation. So I hope this helps you out. Um, hit that like button for me if uh, if you any of this stuff made sense to you, hit that like button for me. Um, please share on your social media. If you haven't yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Um, let's see here. If you haven't yet, Google uh, Mastering MMA. Leave me a five-star review. Tell me the, your favorite thing about the channel. Um, that would help out a lot, especially as we're starting to do physical classes. Um, it'll help people see that, you know, I'm, I'm giving out good stuff and people are enjoying it. So uh, that would be great, greatly appreciated too. If you haven't yet, join the Facebook group. Um, lots of good information in there. Um, lots of technique. Lots of funny memes. Um, definitely jump in there. It's, it's a great community. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's our, you know, kind of like our online uh, gym community, right? It's, uh, it's not just the people that are physically close, but, you know, we can reach out to other people, and it, and it becomes like a big family. So definitely jump in that. Get in there if you haven't yet. And that's all I got for you today with uh, Mastering MMA. I'm Coach Lee, and we'll catch you next time.